watch the video. Well, here's some items I sold. Uh, I bought a group of uh, dirt bikes and stuff off a guy. I sold the first two items you see here for 175. Uh, sold this one for 20 cash plus some other items, and I still have one piece left, so I've got my cash back. Uh, sold this to my cousin for 50. Just sold this yesterday for 35. Uh, sold the camera for uh, 45, as you can see. Had this table come up. Sold it for a whole five bucks, but I wanted it gone. Uh, this piece here, I was offered fifty dollars or 125, and I turned it down. I think I can do better. Uh, went out of town this weekend, did some picking, got some stuff. So watch, see what I got. Hi gang, Ken from Four Seasons Antique Collectibles. How you doing? Well, here we are in my new office. It's not set up yet, but uh, we we're out on the weekend doing some picking again, and I went out today and did some. Uh, so we're going to do a quick run through what we got. Um, phones, my favorite thing on the mural to get. Uh, you know, I paid a buck for this one. Got a buyer already for it for twenty. Don't even have to worry about it. It's done. Bag of Hot Wheels. Again, I don't know about you guys, but I can sell Hot Wheels all day long. I buy them by the bag, and then I bring them to a guy. Roughly 50 cents a piece I get. You know, quick flip. Found this nice little piece, piece of McCoy pottery. You know, I'll probably get 10, 15 dollars for that. Um, bought these, probably my daughter's going to with them, but they're uh, the Clue 39 bucks with cards and accessories with it and uh, you know what dollar picked up a little bit of sports memorabilia at the place Toronto Maple Leaf buckets a little Toronto Maple Leaf bobblehead McGillany I got the uh, Toronto Maple Leaf tees and at the place I was picking at today I got a really nice Toronto Maple Leaf beer stein mug um, so those are pretty cool uh, on the weekend, I picked up a nice ball blue uh, mason jar. I think I've had one of these before. If I pick them up cheap, I don't mind getting them. They're really a no-name China, nothing in particular. I always have a hard time sending an aerial. Uh, but I sell them for $25 to $30, so not a bad deal. Uh, what else did I get? Uh, Got a nice little wood box. Whoops, we're frozen there. Hopefully it doesn't come across to you guys. Got a nice little wood box. Today, it was nice. Um, got an Iserman. Little plaque all done up. Got a guy that's a big Detroit fan. So hopefully I'll do well with that. Uh, this I thought was nice. Saw this. I paid probably a little more than I wanted for it. Because it is only $19.99. But uh, nice Sunoco logo on it, so for those guys that are collectors, you know, should do well with that. Well, that's beer sign, always good. Anything uh, beer related, I tend to do well with. This guy was kind of cool. He's only plastic, which is unfortunate. Has a little snap up to change the battery, but uh, it's pretty wild. Let's see if he goes this time. I'll try one more time. Usually his wheels jump up and down, but I guess because he's not on the solid surface, he's not going to do anything exciting for us. Um, so that's some of it. And then I got uh, a lot of tarot cards. Um, I paid 10 bucks for the bunch. Uh, supposedly this pack on top here sells for about $24 and then I get about 5 10 a piece for the rest of the tarot, so that's not bad. So you're going to bear with me because uh, I got tons of stuff and it's all over this room, so I'm going to try and show you pieces at a time. The biggest piece I got, and this was hilarious because I didn't have room in my car for it, I bought it out in a barn and I thought that'll fit in. I'm trying to give you the idea how big it is here. Um, so I got that in a package deal. So I got that. Two 
two of those. That guy. I don't know, I'm hoping I made it okay, but I got, and these are all reproductions in these boxes, which is unfortunate, and I don't like to really do reproductions, um, but I got nine of those, and I paid about 200 bucks for the, the boat, the controls, and the nine of those, so I think I did well. We'll find out as I get up selling. Tons of movies at a buck a piece. I picked up this. It's an Otter Box case. Looks like for a Blackberry or possibly an older phone. But I paid 50 cents for it. So I should be able to make money. Got a nice little fold up set of RCA headphones. Um, again, didn't pay much for them. And I bought them because I was thinking, well, my kids keep breaking theirs. But I just bought them all new ones this weekend. So I think I'm going to sell those. This I got, and uh, I don't know if you read the markings. Uh, trying to get it right here. But, anyways, if you can, you can't, if you can't, you can't. But the key here on this is the bone on the handle. So it's at least 100 years old, I'm guessing. Um, I haven't looked up the. Uh, marks on it. I don't think it's silver. It would be nice if it was, but I really don't know. Um, but the detail on it is a, actually quite good. Uh, I traded a cigar box for it. I paid two bucks for the cigar box, so I think I'm okay on that deal. Nice big uh, print. It's a numbered print. Nothing on the back, but it's numbered uh, 9 out of 395, so signed. So we'll bring that to the shop and put it in my art collection. Because I'm just getting really big into the art. Um, I picked up a, this little print at one of the grad shows I was at. Um, picked up this little dog, little Scottish dog. Uh, it's all kind of in Scottish, so. A little hard to read. One of the big buys I, I think that I did really well on was uh, this Harley Davidson piece. Um, should be able to get thirty, forty dollars for that. I'm hoping. Um, Air Canada piece, Air Canada plane. Again, hoping to get twenty for that. Table with needles, uh, hoping to get 25 out of that. I don't usually buy jackets, but this is a Star Trek coat. Lots of Star Trek fans out there. I got it at a good price, and I'm hoping I'm going to be able to uh, get a hundred dollars out of that coat. Some ducks. A little moon in there. Let's see. Oh, yeah, a couple of little wood ducks. Share them for about ten. Bag full of tackle, a couple of fishing rods. And uh, nothing special on these, but. Uh, I think I paid 15 for the whole bag, so you know, I'll put the rods out at 10 a piece and start the bag. And I'm actually thinking of uh, adding a section of my store to uh, sell tackle and stuff. So just not sure about it. I might do it at my other store on Bond Street. Got 
five or six of these bottles. I don't know enough about them. So it's going to require me to do a little bit of research. But, I don't know. I think I did well with them, though. Hopefully I got this one. That Cabela's mug. And again, that's going to go with my fishing stuff. Anything I have in one of my shops. And I remember someone doing Gillette series. I got a nice little Gillette in case. Someone lady came in the store and sold me that. I thought that was nice. And at the same time, she sold me this. I wish the cork was in better shape. I bet you that was a horse head on there. But even still, that's a pretty nice uh, with the story on the back. Trent Red Wings uh, on a hard black. Marked Fluger, but it's made in China, and the grip is marked um, Shakespeare. So it's a five-piece, five fishing rod, at least uh, eight feet or more. Or yeah, eight feet is what they say it is. Um, so that's a nice piece. We're gonna put that on, hoping to get close to a hundred bucks for that. Um, again, I think that's to start my new fishing section off. Comfort. Oops. Jesus. Jack Daniels. Nice pan through one. Now these aren't great buck bone buckles, but I didn't pay a lot for them, so I should be able to uh, make a couple bucks on that. and Canadian, but that's already uh, gone to my brother-in-law. There we go. Uh, Zippo collection. Super Rally, Finland. Green Game Bulls. Magnetic Hill. So they're advertising pieces. Uh, more tourist stuff. But again, they're all Zippos and got a good deal on those, I thought. Mm -hmm. okay. So I got these. They're uh, not new, I think they're 2011s. But again, Sunoco's, so. books again. Bob Yor. Tough guys. TBI. Hockey stories. And then I got, and actually this is pretty good because there's a new movie coming out. A new western movie coming out. But I got a Gene Autry, Roy Rogers book, stuff like that. signature or not but it looks good looks like a good signature uh, I've seen enough it is I'm hoping it's right um, not usually a big buyer of uh, things but uh, all this not a big buyer of things that's not the right word I, I tried to stay away from CD collections and stuff but Elvis Presley CD collection price was right so why not and I think this is the last piece um, I got out of this bunch. I 
I could be wrong though. But uh, just nice little decorated and light. It's an Oscars. I'll have to check that out online. Figure out what I want to sell for it. Um, but uh, it's a nice piece. Um, but again, I'm not really into selling knives. But a buddy of mine wants wants it if I get a price for it, so I'll get a price. So that's what we got in the last couple, last week or so. Um, it's really not much um, for considering the money I spent. Um, but it's a lot of stuff we, we think we can flip pretty quick. And uh, there's some basic price tags on the stuff that we think we can flip quick. So we're going to have to try and do well. Excuse me. Oh, tires. So, uh, hope you all enjoyed my, my little collection of stuff I got. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to post a few items that I've sold lately. I don't recall selling too many big ones, so uh, we'll pop up what we got. Um, so hopefully next time you come we'll have the office set up a bit, a little bit of decoration on the wall, and uh, make it look like a, uh, a picking shed. So we'll talk to you in a bit. Hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you later. Well, I hope you liked the video. Uh, make sure to subscribe and uh, hit the like button and please comment on how I can improve on my videos. Uh, still looking to hit uh, 35 subscribers. I know we're getting there slowly, but let's keep rolling. Uh, I have lots more nice stuff. If you want to have me talk about uh, how I identify stuff and value it, let me know. So thanks again and have a good day.